The following is a paid program and does not necessarily reflect the views or ideas of the staff or management of KWSH or the 110 Broadcast Group. Istongo Seminologi Jeremy Fultz Chaho Jeff Godos and Monday and Hayatki Hadi Alaga Moan Ogida Oklahoma Zidos Moan Mojanetta Hadamnetta He doesn't pop a hoy and Tafo Hago for Lagis Delaney. Jickolini. It's kind of cold out there. Well, my name is Jeremy Fultz, and I am going to be your host along with Delaney Pinnock right here on the Seminole Nation of Oklahoma radio program. We are happy to be here today, even though it's a little chilly outside and it's a little wet outside, but I think both of those are welcomed right around this time. I prefer the cold. Yeah, I, I prefer the cold, too. I prefer the stew and the chili that comes with the cold. Like this past weekend. Like this <laughs> last weekend, yeah. We was at Jogo Taco this last weekend. And, boy, there's some nice uh, chadahaga out there and some uh, sakanipki. Man, I, I ate pretty good. A lot, a lot of good food. Some good fry bread. So, so what's going on, Delaney? You, uh, I, I guess we already asked the question, what would you do this weekend? Yeah, so. My eagles. Yeah, last week Chief was sitting in that chair, and I think that might be the first time. No, Assistant Chief came in one day, and we asked him what he did that weekend. And so, then Chief yeah, and you, <laughs> you're you're in good company, Delaney. Uh, I'm up there with him. <laughs> so it is October 25th. It is 11 o'clock. We're supposed to have some guests here today. We're going to see if they arrive or not. But if they don't, we'll just continue on and we'll continue talking. So it is Odowoskathako. It's still October. This weekend, 4th and 8th Sunday, church meetings will be October 30th. The churches that will have be having their church meetings are Arbica, Big Arbor, Hickory Ground Number 1, High Springs Okima, Hilltop, High Springs Kanawha, Little Casita, Miller Creek Number One, New Arbor, Rock Spring and Darko, Ryle Community, Seminole Baptist, Salt Creek Baptist, Snake Creek Number One and Number Two, Trenton, Vian Creek, and Wegawa. So some good church meetings, like we said. Some of these churches may or may not be having their church meetings. So if you know someone that goes there, just give them a call. Uh, see, sometimes they might be visiting someplace else, but um, other than that, give them a phone call. But, you know, Delaney, unfortunately, there was some, some sad news that happened on the reservation this weekend. And uh, we do want to read a prepared statement that was uh, given to us by the Seminole Nation Media Department and Communications Department um, regarding what happened in, in the Strother community on Sunday. And so um, on October 23rd, 2022, at approximately 10.52 p.m., law enforcement responded to a shooting uh, in the Strother community. Uh, unfortunately, upon arrival, officers encountered a shooting su suspect, Douglas Switch, and he was detained. A female victim was located with an apparent gunshot wound and deceased. At this time, Douglas Switch is in custody, charged with first-degree murder. The female victim is identified as Kim Switch. Uh, Douglas Switch and Kim Switch are married. The Seminole Nation Light Horse Police Department would like to clarify this was not a school shooting. Uh, this shooting just occurred on school property. And so um, also Strother Public School, uh, with this happening there on their 
campus did release a statement as well, and it says to all Strother parents, students, and community members, an unfathomable tragedy occurred late Sunday evening at the resident premises located on the Strother School campus. The tra tragedy resulted in the death of an adult female who is also the mother of three Strother students. A criminal investigation is ongoing surrounding the unspeakable tragic events leading to the death. The alleged perpetrator has been taken into custody. School will once again not be in session today, but they will be returning to school tomorrow, which is Wednesday, October 26th. And grief counselors will be available to meet with their students and staff. In addition, support supportive services will be available to students to help them cope with this terrible tragedy in the upcoming days and weeks ahead. And so uh, we offer heartfelt condolences to all those affected by the tragedy. And we will make it through this together, being strong for this family and one another. Our district has faced tragedy before and came through it a stronger school and community as a result. And so that was a statement um, released um, by Strother Public School. And so uh, we definitely, definitely, definitely want to remember everyone involved on this, the, the families of, of Kim Switch, and um, keep them in your thoughts and your prayers and anything. Um, you know, a lot of stuff we want to be strong in the community for their family. And so... Every week, we always talk about the ones that started their journey. Unfortunately, that, that includes uh, people who started a little too early in life. And we want to remember a lot of the families, they're missing some loved ones today, as well as that Switch family. And so uh, remember those families and members of the community in your prayer. At this time, uh, we do pause for a moment of silence. Mado, mado, mado. And so as we move on to the rest of the news, Delaney, uh, last week we talked about on October 15th, the General Council of the Seminole Nation of Oklahoma passed TR 2022-98, a tribal resolution of the Seminole Nation of Oklahoma, authorizing and approving the expenditures of funds received under the American Rescue Plan Act for household assistance. Assistance to households is for $700 per tribal member. If you want official updates on this assistance, please visit the nation's website at www.sno-nsn.gov. Click on the tab that says SNOARPA, so Seminole Nation of Oklahoma ARPA. Then scroll down to the ARPA household assistance number two. Applications are coming soon. And they're as they're under construction right now. And last week, like we mentioned, Delaney Chief was on uh, the radio show last week and talking about the household assistance, the second household assistance. But we also talked about how on Tuesday, October the 11th, uh, the tribal leaders from the five civilized tribes met to officially give their endorsement for governor candidate Joy Hoffmeister. And a quote from Chief Lewis Johnson there are historic moments in the state of Oklahoma, no doubt, and I think today could be one of them as the five tribes have gathered here. Seminole Nation Chief Lewis J. Johnson said he continued, but there is support from other tribes as well, from the executive office of the Seminole Nation, the chief or the office of the chief. We do fully endorse Joy Hoffmeister for the next governor of the state of Oklahoma. And just as a reminder, elections November eighth coming up. If you can't tell by all the campaign ads that are out there on TV right now, all the flyers and mailers, it's um, it gets busy about that time. And that time of the year. It is that time of the year. I can't wait till November the 9th. November 6th? What's November 6th? Oh, <laughs> dang, Delaney coming in with the birthday, <laughs> the birthday announcement already. <laughs> so if you didn't know, November 6th is Delaney's birthday. Apparently, he's letting people know in October. Uh, just slipped out, 
<laughs> Iaska, <isn't it? laughs> yeah. So, and then we do have some announcements from the community health reps, but we'll wait on that because they are our guests and they are in the building and they're waving at me. So they have arrived. We have guests today. So we will talk about that later. Let's talk about communications. The October issue of the Joga the Lummy is out. Or Choga the Lummy is out. It's on the the uh, nation's website as well if you'd like to read a digital copy. Uh, you can find the paper out across different locations. Josiah is not in his head because he's the one that delivers no papers to like OAP, the C stores or convenience stores. Where else, Joe? Where else they go? IHS, IHS complex. the complex. HPO or Historic Preservation Office. What's that? The Mission. The mission. Where else? I-40. I-40. Uh, that's, it right that's it for right now, he said. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that paper is out there. And like I said, if you didn't find a hard copy, there is a digital copy online at the nation's website. And then also, Mark didn't tell me to do this, but coming... To the District Cinema at the Choctaw Casino and Resort in the Rant on November 7th at 7.30. The winner of two Best Documentary Feature Awards, Tiaka Kia Hoyo, will be showing. This is Mark's uh, latest documentary about stickball. Uh, that will be 7.30 on November the 7th. There, is co there are complimentary passes that are available, but limited seating. To reserve your spot, you can email heritageday at choctawnation.com. Again, Mark Williams, communications director, we just want to say congratulations. Good job, Mark. And historic, I feel like I've just been talking the entire time. Delaney. Right. Have you said anything yet? That's fine. <laughs> and his computer, and his computer's, <laughs> oh, it's his birthday. His computer's working today, yeah. and he's still not saying nothing. <laughs> All right. Dennis, do you by chance have any good, thought-provoking, historic music? I think that's it. Delaney, did you know that this week in history, on October 21st, 1837, Seminole warrior Usi Yahola is unjustly captured under a flag of truth, truce at Fort Payton by General Jose Hernandez under the order of General Thomas Sidney Jessup, where he was later transported to Fort, uh, the Fort Maltree in Charleston, South Carolina, where he later passed away in Ju January 1838. Did you know that? Osceola. Do you know who that is? Osceola. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I know him as a different name. Yeah. So, good one. Again, that was brought to you by the Historic Preservation Office. Mado, Jake Tiger, for getting my email and texting that to me right off the cuff. So, thank you very much. Delaney, I'm going to let you talk a little bit. No. What about that honor card? <laughs> Any service member is honorable it? and discharged. <laughs> <laughs> honor guard needs your help. So, give Rex they Haley do. a call at 405 Yep, and then also foster parents are needed still. Um, you can make a difference in Seminole Child's life. Give them a phone call, 405-257-9038 for the, I believe that's the foster. Seminole Nation maintains a tribal state foster care agreement with Oklahoma DHS, so give them a phone call. Fiber technicians in Muskogee Nation reintegration. We had them on a couple months ago. We've had a Seminole person that graduated from there and doing some great things. And so now they're accepting for enrollment now that starts December the 5th. And give Emma Wesley Harjo a call. She can help out with some of those fees and some of those things. And so if you're interested, I've heard some people that um, started doing that. And they're making a good living right about now. Yep, and so give them a phone call. Uh, you can reach out to, where's his name at? Where's his name? I know his name's there somewhere. Mark Carjo? Yeah, Mark Carjo. Oh, there it is, 918-549-2632. And again, that's Mark Carjo, 
and then give Emma Wesley a call over at the JPNT uh, office, 405-234-5288. And like I said, she can help with some of them fees. All right, language department. We be at Muskogee Bonaga, Bonaitsena, Hoboidos, Unweekas. Unweekas. Yeah. So we're looking for some Muskogee speakers that can help us translate. If you're able to, yeah. give us a call. No, no pressure. We we have a few that are helping us out. Yeah. Helping us out. We greatly appreciate appreciate them and all the work work they do. And but um, anyone else, we want to you know just open that door. Any any elders or anyone that that's able to translate and speak fluently, just uh, give us a phone call. I'm learning how to make softy, so I'm going to try to cook that up the next time we meet up. It's a good reason to come out. It is. Come out and hang out. It is. And also, uh, Language Department has released a four-week beginning Muskogee language online course that you can take at your own pace. That is also available if you go to the SNO website or the Seminole Nation of Oklahoma.gov website. Click on Culture, and I think we're the first drop-down Seminole Nation language program. Click on there, and you'll see the link to the four-week online virtual course. So. We hope you enjoy that. And then moving on down, we woke IHS will be closed tomorrow, October 26th for staff training day. And then let's see, there's some jobs out there that's available. SNO-NSN.gov. If you go, there's a lot of jobs that's open up in wildlife parks and rec, vehicle maintenance, tribal court, treasury, trans transit, social services, OAP, maintenance, J JOM, IT, Head Start. Food distribution, domestic violence, communications, child care, ASAP, ARPA, and accounting. You can tell our budget got passed because there's a lot of jobs out there right now. So come and give them a phone call. You can find uh, and file an uh, application online at sno innocentgovernor Go to the Careers tab. Also for SeminoleNation.Casino and also at Sendoc. They also have career tabs there where you can click, find something new. And then let's talk about community and events real quick before we get to our guests. Cold Springs Church fundraiser, one ticket for five, five tickets for 20, drawing December 20th. If you want a ticket, give them a phone call, 580-665-0116. Again, that's 580-665-0116. The basket that they are raffling has all Pendleton items of two throws, one packable blanket, two cups, and a cosmetic bag. And dot Jayajis. Uh -huh. All right, and they will deliver to the winning person within 50 mile radius of Seminole, Oklahoma. And then the Indian Taco Sale, October 29th, uh, starting at 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. or until they sell out. This one's in Shawnee, but it supports a good cause. The murdered and missing Indigenous peoples or persons, Central Oklahoma chapter is putting this on and so again this is going to be october 29th from 11 to 2 in shawnee at the rolling hills community center that's 2102 east main street in shawnee uh, delivery is available for three or more orders uh, in the shawnee area and then the taco comes with a drink and a cookie all for ten dollars and so go support the mmip central oklahoma chapter if you need any questions or have any questions you can reach out to Krista McClellan at 405-481-1089. And Delaney, what kind of birthdays do we have today? All right. We'll start off with Christian Wynn, Petra Jimenez, Brian McGirt, Anthony Harjosi, Helen Willis, Ruby Starr, Sarah Hutchins, Adam Baer, Joe Tiger, Jeff Tiger, Frankie Bell, Dania Burgess, Denise Bubba Coachman, Nat Beaver, Haley Matt, Destiny Swearingen, Russell Harjo, Mar. Molly Trevino, uh, That's my cousin, Bubba. Happy birthday, Bubba. I guess most people know her as Denise, but I grew up calling her Bubba. So, what's our guests waiting on? They just standing out there. They, they see Delaney get up, and they just still standing there. Y'all y'all are veterans by now. Y'all been here before. I have. Y'all know how to do this. Legabashe, Legabashe. He hasn't been here before. All right. So all y'all talking today? 
Yeah, yeah. we got a little yeah, something. We got to talk a little about. All right, so let's do introductions first. Let's start with you. No. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Tell us what department you work in and your name and why you're here. Uh, oh, no, hang on. Not why you're here. <laughs> Just your name and where you work first. Uh, Brooklyn Harris um, with the CHR program. Come a little bit closer to the mic. No, no. Dang, I just hear rumbling. Y'all knocking over <laughs> chairs, hitting the desk. There's only there's one mic and three of them. Okay, start again, Brooklyn. Uh, Brooklyn Harris with the CHR program. All right. I'm uh, Robin England. I work with the CHR program. Okay. Hi, I'm Christina Chalapal, and I'm with the CHR program. All right, so it takes three of y'all from the CHR program <laughs> to come here, huh? <laughs> How y'all doing today? Doing good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. good. So what do y'all do at CHR? What, what do you do, Brooklyn? Um, just calendar. Like, what's your uh, position? Like, uh, representative, a CHR representative. I make sure all the appointments are scheduled, assign the CHRs to them, home visits, reports, data. And Robbie, <laughs> how long you been with the, uh, the nation? A little over four months, going on five months. Oh, okay. So tell us what you do. Uh, I'm a health representative uh, specialist. <laughs> But I just, uh, we do like transportations. I uh, go out and I do home visits. I'll do vital signs, stuff like that. You know, just check on my patients, see how they're doing. Make sure they're doing okay. Make sure their their meds are good and just really just stuff like that. So, good deal. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm over the We Woke area. So. Oh, okay. And Christine? Hi. Um, <laughs> I've been here a year this month in October and I do home visits, transport patients to their appointments, med pickups and vitals. Good deal. So if I was a Seminole Nation tribal member, um, why would I need CHR in my life? So if you're struggling getting to doctor's appointments, struggling to get to medication pickups, um, just need somebody to come in and check on you, see how you're doing to visit, chat, that's what we're here for. Oh, okay. Our errands. So, what about, um, oh, you said errands. Tell us a little bit about that. Like, errands. if they just need us to go, like, get stamps if they're trying to mail something. Stuff Bills. like that. Oh, okay. Not, in, like, fill up their, you know, whole fridge. But, <laughs> you know, you know, just try to help them out, oh, okay. you know, if they need help. So, is this limited to the Seminole tribal members, or is it? As long as you live in Seminole County. Okay. See the IB card needed? Yeah. Okay, so native in Seminole County, mm -hmm. and then they can any just kind of any kind of assistance that they need, maybe getting someplace to a doctor's mm -hmm. appointment. And Robbie, you said you come out and you check like their blood pressure and their pulse and stuff. Yeah, we do. That, yeah. We all do okay, that. we all do that. Okay, and that's just to uh, kind of keep up with their health too. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Do you guys help them out with like any exercises at the home if they need it, or? Well, we provide them with that uh, education. You know, oh. we can you know give them some stuff that they could possibly do on their own you okay. know, stuff like that. good deal so pretty good service but you guys are obviously here for something <laughs> specific <laughs> because you called us and said we want to come on the radio show no we wanted y'all to announce it then we got pulled into being <laughs> on the radio show <laughs> well tell us what that what tell us what that is okay so uh this thursday october 27th we're doing a free haircut event and uh in the morning it'll be for the elders 55 and up from uh, 9 to eleven thirty. Uh, and then the kids and the adults, uh, men, women, kids, uh, children, you know, it'll be from 4.30 to 7.30 in the evening. Um, uh, you do have to have your CDIB or any kind of tribal ID to... They need to bring it with yeah, them to, to the event? To the okay. Event. Yep. And where is this event going to be held at? Uh, it's at the bridge or the First Baptist Church of Seminole. It's a... Uh, kind of in that back building there? Yeah. The okay. Behind, yeah, in that gym, gymnasium okay. area. And that's at 420 Reed Street in Seminole, Oklahoma. Again, this is this Thursday, October 27th from 9 to 1130. Elders, 55 and up. If you need to get that mop chopped, come see us. <laughs> the elders, 55 and up. Come get that haircut. Uh, what's so funny about getting that? Mop chopped. Uh, I, I think our elders would understand that. That's that's kind of an older thing, isn't or it? Or like their ears lowered. Or no, right? ears lowered. If you need to get your ears lowered. <laughs> no. <laughs> but from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m., please, all you others out there, if you need a haircut, swing by 55 and up. And then in the afternoon, starting at 430, this is after school, so you can bring your kids, you adults, you can also come get a haircut, 430 to 730. 
for kids and adults. Tell us about some of y'all's uh, stylists or barbers you guys have. Uh, well, we have a, a couple of uh, barbers from uh, Simply Styling here in Seminole. Simply uh, Styling. Kevin and his son Uriah. They'll okay. be out there doing barber and stuff. Um, I have one that's from the city. Her name is, uh, she goes by Liz the Barber. And uh, she'll be coming down and doing some hair barber cutting haircuts. Like Dang, that. she's got a fancy name, yeah. Liz the Barber. <laughs> Liz the Barber, yeah. yeah. Uh, I got a couple ladies from uh, over there at DD's Salon, over there, okay. just outside of town. Um, and then there's a lady from Supercuts coming in. To, okay. to that one. So, yeah, we got, I think uh, we'll have six barbers for each session. So All right, six know. barbers for each session. Delaney Pinnock said he'd also be out there cutting hair if you wanted to <laughs> get your hair especially done by Delaney Pinnock. He said he had them trimmers out there. Yeah. I also wanted to just want to say that uh, we're partnered with Child Care, so we'll have something out there for the little kids. Like the, I think they're going to do little goodie bags, like trick-or-treat bags for the kids oh, that come okay. out. So. so, again, that's going to be October 27th. What else about this event? Like, for more information, contact Robin England. Yeah, you can uh, call me. <laughs> <laughs> What's your phone number, Robbie? It's uh, 405-584-8095. All right. Great event that's going to be coming up this Thursday. Sounds like you guys have plenty of stylists and barbers out there. That's going to be there again. Elders and up starting at 9 a.m. to 1130. And then kids and adults starting at 430 p.m. And so what else you guys got going on at CHR? So in November, we'll be having a rabies vaccine clinic. At, we're partner, partnering with uh, Morphosis Vet. Vaccines will be Oh, for on. animals. Yeah. You oh. want, do you want a vaccine? I, I thought, <laughs> I just wanted to clarify. Yeah, we also do rabies clinics for animals. Okay. I mean, you can come get your rabies if you want. I mean, I, I, I didn't know it. it was for people or, okay. Thanks for clarifying. <laughs> So rabies vaccine, when is it again? Um, it's going to be the end of November. End of um, we're going to do the first 50 pets we will pay for. Oh, nice. And you don't have to be a tribal member. It's open to the community. Oh, so open to the public, free rabies vaccinations for pets. The first 50 the pets. The first 50 pets. <laughs> and where is that going to be held at? The Morphosis Vet. Off the highway coming into Seminole. I don't know what that highway is. The one from Wewoka or the one from, like, Wetumpka? From, like, the Mission. Oh, that's 99A or 56? Is that 56, Dennis? 99. 99. 99. Yeah. Okay. So, again, that's Morphosis Vet? Yes. All right. The first 50 pets, you can get your vaccination, rabies vaccinations. And you don't have to be a Seminole tribal member for that one. What else you guys got going on? Uh, well, we're part of the... Uh the tribal challenge for the blood drive uh we have an event coming up in december but uh we'll have more information as it gets closer and that's a that. blood drive yes yeah, blood all drive. right so kind of just save the date in december for a blood drive coming up yeah all right good deal what else you got yeah i just keep asking that question y'all keep coming up with new events that's all we have for chr program but diabetes asked me to read this uh flyer off for the, the the walk, walk to stop diabetes go ahead and read it then okay it's at the Chafikni Chafikni wellness center it's at the wellness center at the mission <laughs> saturday november 19th at 9 a.m and uh the first 100 receive free long sleeve t-shirts it don't matter if you register or not but the first one to show up. To show up, receive. Hey, I can hear someone's leg moving in the microphone. That's behind me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and um, the contact information is uh, harjo.k at sno-nsn.gov. Our phone number is 405-234-5246. All right. So the walk to stop. open to the public. Walk to stop diabetes. You can register at the Jafigny Wellness Center or via email the day of. Saturday, November the 19th at 9 a.m. at the Miccosukee Mission Softball Fields. A 1.3-mile walk or run. The first 100, you heard it here first, receives free long-sleeve T-shirts. Uh, email Kyla over at harjo.k at sno gov or give her a phone call, 405-234-5246. And this is open to the public. Mm -hmm. All right, what else, y'all? 
All right, and also... Um, yeah, uh, well, I just want to stress that when they come to the haircut event, they need to have their CDIB or tribal ID card. So. All right, so if you are planning on going to the free fall haircut event on Thursday... And one other thing, uh, we won't sign anybody up that's not there. If you're there and you're signing up for anybody, we won't do that. You have to physically be there to be signed up. All right. So you can't say my, my auntie's coming with three... Three, can we sign her up? No. Okay. I tried that one year and it didn't work either. Yeah. I got a couple, of, uh, a few birthday shout outs. I know y'all just did that. Oh, but, uh, I just want to give a shout out to my, my twins. They turned eight. Dawe and Gethoya. And then uh, Millie, Melinda, and uh Nat, Natta Joe Beaver. She just turned 18 today. And then uh, I want to shout out to Haley Mack. She turned 17 this month. So. Nice. What about y'all? Y'all got any? My mom's birthday was October 14th. <laughs> Brooklyn's going to be. My, my, my cousin had a birthday back in May. <laughs> shout out to Brooklyn, too. She had a birthday this month. Congratulations. Yeah, 30. Finally. Happy birthday. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'll shout her out. What else? Y'all want to give out any more information? Y'all just been a plethora of information today. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. uh, and that's your now. CHR program, Seminole Nation. <laughs> <laughs> also, just real quick, I do have some announcements from diabetes, like their brown bag fitness. Is that still going on? Yes. Brown bag fitness is still going on Mondays through Thursdays, Monday and Wednesdays. They do it over at Jafigny, Tuesdays and Thursdays over at the uh, complex. And then Power Hour, healthy, fit, and cool exercise with Kyla and Jerome. That's September 6th through the 28th, so this is the last week every Tuesday and Thursday from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. at the Jafigny Wellness Center there at the Mikasiki Mission. And then also Tai Chi, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, is Tai Chi still going on? Not quite sure. Okay, well, I know it started back in September, but we'll, we'll have to get an update from Kyla and Jerome on that one. And again, the walk for diabetes. But thanks for coming through. Some great information, especially on the haircuts. We know that that's going to be a pretty popular event. And so I hope you guys are ready <laughs> to have all the influx of people come and get their mops chopped. You got to come help out? I'll, I'll do what I need to. Just give me give me some scissors. I'll, I'll, I'll cut some stuff off. <laughs> all right. Well, anything else? This is y'all's last opportunity. All right, Mado, Mado. Well, you can catch the rebroadcast of the radio show on the Facebook page, YouTube, and tribal website, sno-nsn.gov for the Seminole Nation of Oklahoma every Wednesday around 8 p.m. If you have news or announcements you want to share on the Community and Events Facebook page, please email the communications staff at seminolemedia at gmail.com or call 405-652-7251. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, tune in every Tuesday at 11 a.m. right here on KWSH 97.7 FM or the legendary 1260 a.m. For radio producer Mark Williams, Josiah Jimbo, engineer Dennis Burton, co-host Delaney Pinnock, and the entire CHR staff at the Seminole Nation of Oklahoma, I'm Jeremy Fultz. Mado for listening and Jimbo Nayathi.